Eyes up, eyes up, eyes up. The Bloodhounds are up and running. As a member of TAPS, the Athletic Association for Non-Public Schools in Texas, St. Joseph can start to fall practice a week before most UIL programs. It's a great opportunity to be out here, you know, earlier than most teams. And um, of course, we're trying to make the most of it. And we're really looking to, you know, kick, kickstart our year into the right direction. St. Joseph will continue to run its high scoring spread offense, which averaged more than 40 points per game last season. Kai Money's coming back at quarterback. Got a couple of tricks up our sleeve. I mean, when you have a guy quarterback your team for 34 games and be the starter, you're able to kind of open the playbook a little bit more and do a couple more interesting things. After a 9-3 finish to last season, which included the program's first playoff win since the 1980s, expectations for this team are high. They are ranked in the TAPS Division I top 10 to start the season for the first time ever. I think it is about time because we've been working hard. I, I feel really excited now that people actually, we made a name for ourselves the past couple of years, winning a, the first round of the playoffs against Nolan Catholic, and um, a game that we were like told we were gonna lose, and I'm very excited for this coming season. It's pretty cool, I mean, getting our name out there, uh, just more people wanna come, and it's pretty cool because we go to San Antonio and places and people know our name, it's, it's awesome. Go, let's go, let's go. The Bloodhounds will kick off their season against Gruya on September 1st. Reporting in Brownsville, Ruben Juanes, Channel 5 Sports.